What a view. This is spectacular. Man. Rock outcrumpings popping out of the forest. You can see some not giant mountains back there. A cloud peak wilderness. And this is this is already better than I was expecting. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. All right, time to get up in that stuff. about six miles in now starting to feel it pretty good I don't know definitely have a heavy pack right now um, six days worth of food probably brought a little too much but um, you never really know you gotta, gotta keep your energy up so six days of food you know water camera gears things like that I'm definitely feeling it six miles in um, trying trying to Take a little break. I think I got about two miles left to go to where I plan to camp. Hopefully nobody's in that spot. I haven't seen a lot of people, just some day hikers and some horseback people. So I think I'll be all right. But um, anyway, I'm excited about this campsite, but I'm gonna probably have to push pretty hard to get up there. Uh, my calves are super sore right now, which I'm not really sure why. I think I'm just out of shape a little bit. I haven't done a ton of hiking. I went up to Colorado and had a pretty good hike but it was a pretty short hike didn't really notice that issue at all um, same shoes ultra lone peaks um, so anyway I think it's just a heavy pack and you know carrying food for six days is I've got about eight pounds of food with me plus water so anyway it's gonna take a little toll on me so that's where I'm at right now um, but beautiful place loving it no complaints Always try to bring in something fresh on the first night. Weighs a little bit more, but when you're eating dehydrated food all the time, it kind of wears on your body, so it's nice. I made some sandwiches, got an apple, some cheese, some chips, and of course, hauled those babies up the mountain today, two of them. It's 24 ounces. I'm taking off my uh, weight for tomorrow, so that's gonna be good. Look at this place. All I had to do was hike here. Campsite's free. All I had to do is get here. This is uh, one of the incredible things about living in America is all this land, this public land, is ours to use. I mean, it's 
it's really hard to put into words that I can just hike up here, hike eight miles, and set up a camp in front of a waterfall, mountains all the way around me, and spend a night here. And anyone can, anyone, anyone that wants to try to do this can do this. So anyway, if this is an inspiration to get out backpacking, I don't know what is. Going up that, I don't see any trail at the moment, so I can tell it's going to be a pretty difficult climb. Um, might have to put the big camera away for this one, but I'm going to try not to. Once I get to the top, should be a beautiful lake, and uh, should have a pretty mellow ride to the next area I'm trying to get to. So, so far, incredible morning. Every time I think I'm getting close, it just looks huge again and distant. Really gives you appreciation for these mountains. Really just crazy how big they are. You look at a map and you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, I can do that, no problem. But then you get up in it and your perspective changes pretty fast. Just past Florence Lake, coming over Florence Pass right now. That's Bomber Mountain in the distance there. Covered probably the hardest part of my trip for the day. So hopefully downhill cruising for here and a lot of pretty lakes. So 
So I said that on the way up that pass, it looked like more like the Beartooth, Abzaroka Beartooth. Now that I'm over the pass, I'm definitely getting a winds vibe right now. So these mountains are got that beautiful gray, um, kind of sloped like a ramp, which is something the winds has too. So man, it's it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Cloud Peak, right behind me, 13,180 feet. I'm actually going to go back around through this pass to Lake Solitude and kind of see where I'm at from there. I have the option to camp not too far past that or I can push on a little further and get to some lakes with some potential uh, grayling fishing, which I've never caught a grayling before. so kind of interested in doing that spending some time there but I don't know we have to play it by ear Solitude Lake, absolutely gorgeous. Huge cliffs around it, and a beautiful little valley at the bottom. I came from way back in here, so I'm getting into some serious distance now from where I started. So I've got an option to camp about at the outlet of this lake. It's about a mile and a half. The lake's almost a mile long. Um, my other option is to push up to those lakes where the grayling are and um, that's about three and a half miles so I don't know it's uh it's 2 30 right now and I'm starting to feel it again so might be time to call it early and just hustle a little more tomorrow but anyway see how I'm feeling when I get past this lake
last night. Um, but man, elk were bugling like crazy. It was just, it was just a loud, wild night, but totally awesome. Check out this view for my tent. The elk are all bedded down right there. They're getting ready to come out. Wanted to give you an idea of where I was camped at last night. It's just such a neat place. It's kind of like an island in the middle of two grasslands. Just massive grassland back here. And then that little island of trees there. I was on the back side of that. And all of the elk were right up there in front of me along that mountain ridge. Just couldn't ask for a cooler spot. starting to gain some elevation um, hopefully it's not super steep for too long but it's definitely getting steep it's kind of nice walking along that creek for a while but stumbled into some interesting artifacts a bullet and even cooler but I believe to be some sort of some sort of um, Native American arrowhead super sharp and it doesn't resemble any of the rock that I've been seeing around here looks more like that obsidian or you know flint that they they are known to use so I don't know pretty cool I don't know I mean it kind of looks like someone's been playing cowboys and Indians out here Trout back here. That's a good sign. It's a brook trout. Woo. Kansas dude. He's breathing hard. 
I thought it was just my heavy pack, but it's uh, not, it's just the elevation. There's Elsa Lake behind me. Fall down. And the waterfall above. I'm trying to pass somewhere above that waterfall. I'm almost up to the waterfall level. I've got to get up that somehow. I think if I can get up that, I should be good. This is why you do it. This is unbelievable. I'm still on a high from climbing up that waterfall back there, going up to that secret lake and catching my first golden trout and my first uh, Yellowstone cutthroat. So that was an extremely successful trip and the first fish of the trip, first time I've gone fishing. And this is day three. There just wasn't really any opportunities to fish the last couple days, but every single night just epic campsites unique um, and this one's just the same i uh i'm so impressed with uh the bighorns in cloud peak wilderness exceeding my expectations it's just can't ask for anything better in my opinion Slept pretty good last night. Um, no elk bugling, so that was actually pretty helpful for the sleep situation. But um, yesterday did about 12 miles plus uh, two extra miles going up that waterfall and fishing um, up in that alpine lake. Um, so pretty tough day. A lot of a lot of incline towards the end, but um, and a lot of forest walk too. So it's nice to get up out above tree line and uh, be able to get some views. But today I'll have a ton of views. I'm gonna be above tree line most of the time. I'm going 
straight up that, up over that ridge, and then up above that ridge there, and then back down the back side. And I'm hoping to catch a, another nice alpine lake that's got a bunch of cutthroat in it. And then I'm gonna camp down in Spear Lake, which is back down in the tree line. A um, bunch of brook trout in there too, so uh, definitely excited. It's gonna be short mileage a day, but a ton of incline and decline and some potential sketchy kind of cliffy areas coming down the backside. So I'm just gonna have to wayfind and figure it out from there, but I'm excited for the day. To get down next to pass I was supposed to go like back and around this big mountain and then end up back over here where you can see that gap so I'm hoping to skirt that and just go down the gap so it might clip out and I might have just added another hour of work to get back to where I should have gone but I'm committed at this point so I'm gonna go for it Officially made it over exit pass. Still gotta find my way down. Just picking my way through this. No idea if it's the best route or not. A lot of rocks breaking out. This is no joke. Not for the faint of heart. It's pretty slick and steep. Lots of scree just falling out from under my feet. came from up there somewhere through that little keyhole. Be good with not doing that again. I think I'm past the the worst part or the best part depending on how you look at it. That looks moosey down there in my lake I'm staying. Maybe I can get lucky on that. Alright. Let's get down this baby. Making my way. Something wasn't so lucky. Pretty good sized rib bone, I think. Probably mule deer or something. A few more scattered around here. Always makes you wonder if they fell. Certainly a possibility. Or maybe just got old and laid down on the mountain and died.
know these goat trails are a little, and deer trails are a little unpredictable. It's just kind of a pleasure following them, seeing how these animals figure out where they should go. And they kind of pick the path of least resistance. So it's been kind of a nice change from being on these well-worn trails the last couple days, horse trails and stuff. So kind of enjoying it, even though I'm still not sure if I'm going the right way. So busy looking for my trail. Kind of forgot to look up and see that beautiful waterfall. There's a lake up there that I'd like to fish, but I'm looking at it right now. It just looks like cliffs all the way across. I know you can get up there. I know people have, I'm just not sure how and if I have the desire today. I'm sure it would be worth it. Just to give you some perspective of where I came from this morning. Way up there, that's Exit Pass. And I've been working my way down ever since on these goat trails and mule deer trails. It's been a, it's been an awesome, awesome little trip so far. Um, every day seems to offer something new and unique, and honestly, it just gets better and better. So we'll see what uh, this lake looks like that I'm looking to camp on, and uh, something tells me it's going to be loaded with fish because every place else has. Let's see. I feel like this is just an excellent opportunity to see moose or bear, just any kind of animal going down this game trail along this creek. They can't hear me coming because the water's so loud. And I can just see myself running up on something, especially a moose. So keeping my eyes peeled and trying to be careful, but hopeful, hopeful. I think I'm just now getting to where humans might actually come. Man, there's no way there are very few people go up the way I was at. I didn't see a single sign of human activity. Shoe prints. Fortunately, no trash, but you never know. But, yeah, I can see why no one goes up there. It's pretty beautiful, but also pretty crazy. So, um, anyway, I think I might be cruising for now, I hope. Here's a look at Spear Lake, just nestled down in these mountains with a huge forest behind it. I came down from right up there and just worked my way all the way down. So this is what I'm considering for tomorrow morning. The waterfall out there that you can climb climb up and then you would work your way around and all the way up to the top and summit Penrose Mountain right there and then I would continue to go back over the back of that mountain cuts off a ton of time or a ton of mileage but as you can see the mileage that I'd be taking on looks pretty much insane Every day has been unique and beautiful in its own way. Today um, started out pretty intense going up Exit Pass, 11,000 feet, and I only did about seven and a half miles today, but the first three of them were pretty intense, and then uh, deer and goat trails all the way back down. So 
was definitely uh, feeling it. Took a little break and um, jumped in the lake at Spear Lake. And then I made it down to just an amazing waterfall campsite. Um, I believe it's called Princess Falls. And preparing for the crux of my trip tomorrow, which is to go up the fall and climb all the way up over the mountain, about 13,000 feet at the peak, and then go back down and um, camp at a lake on the other side. I really have no idea if I can, if it's even feasible. Um, I just use Google Earth and hope for the best, but I think I think that it, it's possible. So if it's not, I'm gonna have to come back and I gotta have a lot more miles, so. Last night was interesting, right about dusk, I hear this branch snap. And it was dark and uh, I didn't have my big camera with me. It was already set up to do a time lapse, so I had my GoPro. And I look out the door of my tent right here, and there's a moose 50 feet away, just sitting there munching away, looking at me, just staring at me. I tried to pop my GoPro up and turn my headlamp on. Headlamp really wasn't strong enough to reach out there you could see its eyes glowing I mean it was literally right over there and it just moseyed around walked over to the back of the camp area and then finally kept walking off so disappointed I didn't have my big camera because I think I could have made it bright enough but I don't know looking forward to see if I captured anything but man just massive massive so it took me a while to fall asleep after that got up to in the middle you know about midnight to turn off my camera and I was a little nervous, but anyway, interesting night, another highlight, and now I get to go up that thing today. So this is the crux of the trip. If I can't make it over this mountain and uh, way find all the way to the lake that I plan to camp at tonight, I'm gonna have to come all the way back down and take the original route. So um, pretty much the whole trip kind of kind of pends on how this goes today. So should be interesting. There's my campsite. Yeah, this is impressive. A lot of work to get up here, but definitely worth the hike. Still got a long ways to go on this, on this uh, day, but what a way to start it. As expected, this ain't gonna be easy. I guess I go up that. Well, there's a trail. I cannot find it anywhere. I know that I need to get up in that cirque up there. That's where the lake is. And then I'll head back up this way. But right now, all I am is seeing rock 
and forest and no easy way up so some nice views of the cirque definitely got that wind river range thing going for it You look really close. Right there is the exit pass that I came over yesterday. And then I ended up coming all the way down here. peaks that right there that's black tooth mountain looks like a tooth sticking up off the top of that pretty impressive then that's Mount Wolseley back there and that's the one I was considering summiting that one's at 13,000 they're all over 13,000 Penrose is what that one is called but I think I'm just gonna bypass it to the left there and keep going because honestly I'm gonna have probably five miles of just no trail rock hiking all the way to my proposed campsite so I don't think I have time to summit that This trip, without a doubt, has definitely been the highest exposure trip that I've ever done in the mountains. And what I mean by high exposure, I mean climbing stuff with a pack on, you know, in the 80, even almost 90 degree grade, where there's just moments where I'm thinking, we should probably be a rope here, or I should probably have a rope, but and I told my wife I would never take on too much risk and honestly nothing I've been on this week has been to the point where I'm like, no, nah, I can't do this. This is way too much. And I'll just turn around if that's the case. For sure. It's not worth it. But that said, a little sketch in some of these areas. And today might be my sketchiest. I just, I don't know what to expect. That waterfall was really steep. Um, earlier this morning um, but I'm gonna be traversing the tops of mountains to get down to where I need to be and it's a pretty good chance I'm gonna cliff out and have to kind of work my way around some stuff so I don't know I'm looking forward to the challenge but <laughs> kind of hoping it's less sketchy than I'm anticipating I think the way I went, no human beings have been up that way. My motto this trip has been follow the poop, and I hadn't even seen any poop over there. So even the goats and the deer didn't like my, my way of going. Good news is, pretty sure I've moved back onto the main trail that people that do summit Penrose Peak take. So I feel good about that, and most importantly, lots of poop. Made it over the pass. Yeah, you can see 50, 100 miles out there, way out into Wyoming. All right, so now it gets really tricky. Do I stay up high or go down low? I'm leaning towards going up, going straight over that little pass there. Let's see what it looks like when I get over it. I 
I'm in about five miles and I left it seven or so and it's almost 11 o'clock now so actually doing pretty good because every single one of these miles has been hard fought almost all the way uphill until I until about now so I've got about three miles to go and fortunately so far um, it's looking pretty mellow I got a lot of rock hopping to do but it's flat up here since I'm almost at the top of the mountain um, so that's a positive thing one concern is since I did take an alternate route we'll call it that um, I missed the lake I was gonna fill up my water bottle at so run a little on water I'm already feeling a little dehydrated after the five miles but I'm trying to ration it a little bit so um, hopefully I can find a little pool or something up here a little snow pool to drink out of but if not um, I'm gonna be a little thirsty by the time I get down to my intended spot hear that water flowing directly below me but nothing to be seen anywhere what a tease for a guy that's low on water all right just to give you an idea of what I'm been traversing for the last couple hours three hours and it's just been boulder hops and sketchiness I came from straight up there down all those boulders which I don't want to do again and I'm trying to get over to this pass here but as you can see I gotta go across this whole boulder field so I'm I'm moving really slow I doubt I'm even averaging half a mile an hour but getting there talk about some timely water I was out Glad I got a filter, because there is a ton of elk and mule deer poop all the way along this. But I don't care, I'm thirsty. All right, whoa, things are looking up. Got a refill of water. Should be enough to get me all the way, I hope. Finally made it back into tree line. Came from way up there and of course, rock hopped all the way down. That's worn me out. I'm pretty much, pretty much donezo at this point, but I'm really close to Cloud Peak Reservoir, and I'm debating if I want to go there or if I want to put a little more effort in and go to some other lakes that I have my eyes on. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. My theory for following the poop is um, not really working anymore because there's literally poop everywhere. This area clearly is full of elk and deer and goats so hoping to see some that was the last two miles I had to do along those boulders man that was insane I would never do that again but check out this lake and I'm gonna camp right there looks like paradise so brutal but keeping the streak alive of phenomenal campsites with beautiful views I could have done without that boulder walk that was probably about six miles total today of just jumping boulders my feet are killing but I'm here I think it's gonna be totally worth it Oh my gosh, I'm excited about the campsite. If there's anything less, I'd be kicking myself for even trying to get here. But this is this is gonna compete for the top. say is wow this is very nice 
little sheltered, limited views from the tent, but besides that, protected from any of the storms. All right. This is gonna be fun. Crazy day. Started out with amazing waterfall climb. Uh, super sketchy to get up to the top and over. Got way off trail, or there wasn't a trail as far as I could tell. Should have probably looked around a little more, but ended up boulder hopping all the way up to the top of the mountain. Um, and then boulder hopped, I feel like, probably about five or six miles today. I mean, I will never do that again if I can avoid it. But anyway, I made it into this beautiful lake here. Started on a high note, got ridiculous, and ended on a high note. So you can't ask for much more than that. So I'm uh, loving the way this is ending, and I'm loving this campsite I got. And um, man, Cloud Peak Wilderness, Bighorns, Wyoming, just a phenomenal place. That's all I got to say about it. Man, I must be a glutton for punishment. Here's my trail right here. Just rock hop all the way, hoping to get down to Cloud, Way Cloud Lake Reservoir. It's got a dry bank, so I should be able to walk the shoreline, make up some time, but it's been crazy. The way it ended is the way it's starting again. Almost there. Boulder hopped all the way down through the trees. <sighs> Pretty intense, but loving, loving to see this lake. I found a cairn right here, which makes me wonder if I was kind of on the right path, but I don't know why anybody would want to climb that many rocks to get to that lake. I mean, it was beautiful, but there's lots of beautiful lakes that are easier to get to. This is what solo tripping's all about, you know? This is pretty much what I do the whole time I'm out here. Nice, quiet walks on the beach alone. Deep introspect. You know, just thinking about life I mean it's always this easy just a simple hike I tell everybody it's tough you know when they see see my videos and stuff complain about rock hopping and stuff but nah it's really just me walking down the lake shore 
beautiful mountains behind me. I'm passing Elk Lake right now. Nice big beautiful lake. Supposedly no fish in it though, which is surprising, but maybe it's really shallow. This is a really good view of the full scope of kind of where I've been hiking. I came from way back here and went all the way around these mountains, like behind all of those, right there in the middle, this cloud peak. Um, and I was way down below there. And I went behind that whole part of the range. And then I came up right there and then kind of traveled back down along here into that cirque and then came back at down here to the lake. Just to give you a little perspective on some of the mileage I covered.